What's up y'all? Logic Repair back again with another video. Okay. Today we're gonna be working on something that I told you guys. Um I think I may have just showed you um some wear and tear on a particular item that I've had. Probably had it for about a year now. And I think it's time for an upgrade for it. It's been a real good uh, item for me um, you know and it's just been so amazing to be able to get out and just enjoy what life has to offer okay so today we're gonna be it's gonna be a pretty short uh, video it's ready this is a very 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 easy uh, process to uh, take care of and uh, it's gonna be we're gonna be working on the rad roll okay as I showed you, I think it was the last video, uh, my tires needed some serious, um, not really serious, but they definitely, it's time for them to get some touching up, okay, if you know what I mean, okay. So, I've had the bike for about a year, okay. Um, we put, you know, several miles on the bike. I think it's got like 600 600 and some change on maybe 625 on okay 625 miles okay so that's what you can expect out of these uh tires okay you can expect to get at least 600 miles i don't know if you're lighter or the um air pressure that you were running the tires i personally myself run mines at pretty much the max uh but put like uh 20 uh 28 in the tires uh pretty much as hard uh, i think the max is like 30 but we're going to take a look at that in just a second but um yeah i've been running these tires for about a year and these are the tools this is all the tools you're going to need for the uh complete that test uh maybe a screwdriver one that don't have so much of a, a point to it. it on the edges it is kind of uh probably a little pointy but and you're going to need a, a tile level, okay? This is what I use to uh, help protect the rim. I take a rag. A used rag that you got just laying around, okay? Just something like this. Okay, I'm going to put this off to the side, okay? I'm going to show you what those tires will look like once you get um, a lot of miles on them, okay? So, this is what... The tires will look like after you get 600 miles on them. As you can see, uh, the wear on them is probably pretty severe. Not really severe, but there's some green showing. I don't know if you can see that, but there's some green starting to show. I think that's from the uh, puncture, um, the stuff that's added in the tire to help uh, block punctures. Okay, so. This is what it looks like. Uh, you're gonna need an 18 millimeter uh, wrench to get that tire off. And you're gonna need a 27, um, a 27, I wanna say it's a 27 millimeter, um, no, 27 Torx um, driver to get that um, screw off out of the torque arm, okay? That, that that goes against the um, against the tire as well. Um, it's like a little washer looking thing. I'll show you what it looks like a little bit later. Maybe I'll do a video of me putting the tire back on the bike. Uh, but it was a very easy process, okay? But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get rolling. Um, let me grab uh, a rim and we'll go ahead and get started. And I'm gonna show you what the new tires look like. Okay, y'all. All right. These are the new tires right here. As you can see, brand spanking new. Okay. We're going to get those uh, installed real quick. I'm going to show you. Uh, the only thing you're going to need to make sure uh, when you put these tires on, you want to make sure that you put them on 
in the direction of in the direction that the tire will be rolling okay and as you put it on the bike this is going to be the caliber side so the bike is going to be rolling uh, this way just like this okay this is the way it's going to be rolling let me make sure I got it right um, yeah so this is the way it's going to be rolling so there's a direction on the tire if I can find it real quick for you the direction shows you on the tire uh, which direction to put it in uh, okay I saw it yesterday I'm just trying to relocate it okay and see if I can show you guys real quick which I don't see it at the moment okay so let me get a closer look okay it's kind of faint it's kind of hard to see it but the arrow on the tire is pointing it's pointing this way it's you can't you're not gonna be able to see it because it's um on the thing but this is the way that the tire rolls this way but we're gonna be putting it on all uh, like this because this is the way it's gonna be rolling like that okay so we're gonna go ahead and all you do like I said this is a very easy process uh, you take your old inner tube out of one of your tires go ahead and pull that out okay go ahead and pull that out I don't have my little helper out here my son is in the house somewhere but uh you go ahead and put your inner tube on the inside like so probably got a little bit too much air in it in the tube you don't want to puncture the tire as you're trying to install it okay so be careful for that as well okay yeah but uh that's pretty much it once you get that on the inside all right just taking this try to mash your tire around to get it starting to form in the shape okay that's what I like to do just go around the tire and mash it a little bit and get it into the shape okay and then uh, all you're going to do from there is take your rim okay and stick it on the inside of the tire like this you're going to just take it this edge and just put the rim against it like that and just go all the way around normally it'll just pop right on okay it's a very easy process okay and just like that one side is already on okay let me just make sure okay And just slide it over okay just slide it over to make sure you take your inner tube and push it over as well before you put too much pressure on it because you don't want to pinch your inner tube uh, I, let me pull this back off I did make a mistake Okay, so make sure you line your inner tube up with the valve stem. A uh, little mistake that I made. Okay, just line those up and um, you'll be good to go. Let me pull this out just a little bit. Okay, 
And we're gonna go ahead and just go all the way around the rim and just slide it on. Okay. Okay. Slide it on. Just like that. Okay. All right, we got one side on. Okay. Then all you're gonna do for the other side, press one side on with your bare hands. Okay. It's kind of hard for me to hold the rim and do it, but you just press one side on. Let me sit it down. Just press. Just take and press one side on, just like this. Press it on and go all the way around the whole tire, okay? Around the whole tire the same way. Okay. Okay, uh, give me one second to find out what's going on. Okay, at this point, um, I should have already had a rag on the inside of the rim uh, to use, which I still can. Uh, all you're going to do is just take the rag and push it up underneath the tire so you don't damage your rim. Push it up underneath your tire and just uh, take your tool and pop the tire on just like that, okay? And uh, the rest of it should just go ahead and, and pop right on. Okay? And that's it, okay? And pull your rag back out. Right. Okay, and that's pretty much it. And all the thing we got left to do is just put some air in the tire and let it uh, settle. Make sure you go all the way around uh, the tire and um, just press to make sure that it's inside of the rim. Uh, and that's pretty much it, okay? Alright, that's going to be it for the front round. Alright, now we're going to get the back one. For the back rim is going to be the same process. Uh, the back rim is a little bit more uh, easier to tell what direction because it actually has an arrow uh, showing you the direction that the rim goes in, which as you can see right there, there's an arrow on the rim showing you that it's going to be rolling in that direction, okay? And we're just going to turn it around because it goes on a bike this way. Your cassette will be on this side. And uh, the torque, little torque on goes on this side, okay? And uh, it's going to be the same process. Uh, go ahead and get... Go ahead and pull your inner tube. Go ahead and pull that out of your old... Uh, Rim. 
Okay. Go ahead and pull that out your old rim. Um, find your tire. Okay. Go ahead and grab your new tire and place that inside your your uh, place it on the inside like so okay say so this is a very easy process I'm a little rusty uh, my hands don't want to really move too much but uh, I've been working a lot lately and it's just caught up with me okay and uh, how can I say this very easy process all right we got the inner tube inside of the tire okay and like I said this time uh, we're going to just go ahead and find the um, we'll go ahead and find the hole. That's what I did wrong the last time. All right, the tire is going to be rolling this way, okay? Once it go on a bike, um, go ahead and find your valve stem, and here's the hole for the valve stem to go in. Uh, go ahead and get that started, or get it in the right position for it to go on. Okay, it's already through the hole. Now you can go ahead and start um, getting this one side on. Go ahead and start uh, going around the tire. Um, I like to pick the tire up so I can see, uh, so I can see it. But you're pretty much gonna do the same thing. Go ahead and get that one side on, go all the way around the tire and just push it on. Should be pretty easy uh, to get it on the rim, okay? Okay, all right, we already got one side on. All right, the inner tube thing is already pushed in. Then it slide your tire back, okay? Make sure you push the inner tube, push up underneath the inner tube like that, okay? And push it back. All right. And uh, the only thing left to do is uh, is do like we did the first time. Uh, go ahead and start pushing. Um, go ahead and start pushing the tire on. Let's go around the whole tire as much as you can you can start getting it on okay we're gonna leave a little bit where we can get the rag onto the rim okay I don't we may just be able to push this one on instead of using that tool and just like that the tire is on okay um, it's so like I said, it's a very, very easy process to get that tire on. And there you have it, okay? Uh, just make sure that uh, the direction of the tire is going the same way that the direction uh, that's on the rim, okay? This one is a, actually a Bufane um, motor on this rim. And just make sure that they're both going in the same direction, okay? But that's going to do it uh, for this tire uh, install, okay? Uh, this is Elijah Repair, signing off.